Hello, this is Abhishek Raz and in this video, I am going to show you how you can create a crypto price checker using Svelte. So why you should use Svelte because it is way better than any other libraries like Vue and React because its bundle size is too less and there is no virtual DOM involved like React views. So it's relatively fast compared to React JS. So what we are going to do is we will uh, use this API uh, you can also uh, open this link docs I will drop in the description so using this API we can fetch live prices of the crypto so let's start what we have to do so I think you all have npm installed in your computer so we will just copy this command npx one and let me go to my directory and uh, just i will run it here and you can name your project like crypto checker yeah it will just clone that template here and we can directly crypto checker yeah and we can open this in VS Code and what we need to do is we need to run npm install I will explain what I am doing so this is a package.json and it stores all the dependencies required for our development and when we do npm install it install all, all the dependencies inside the package.json and you can see our all the dependencies has been installed in node modules and so what we need to do is we need to write our code in this src folder so let's open yeah let's try to run what we get in the template so here you can see this is what we get in our project and now what I will do is I will just remove this thing and uh, I will also remove this because we don't need this we will also remove this we will start from scratch so you guys better understand yourself ok so what main is this let me make it center because we want to center everything in the middle i will just show you here input type text and uh, i will just write a placeholder search crypto you can see we got our placeholder here and what i will do is just write another button search Okay, so we got our little input bar here and our search bar here. So what we need to do is we need to write and function, write a function which will fetch our data from that API. So this is our API here. I will just copy it from here. So you can see this is get request and we are, we need to request from this URL. So I will also explain what is an API. So just create an API file here api.js and we will need Axios here. So I will also explain what is Axios. So you, you just need to write npm i, I mean install Axios and it will install the dependency. So uh, suppose uh, what Axios does is it just uh, sends a request to that URL and uh, tells that uh, give me this thing and that server will return that data in a JSON way. So let me just show you import we need to import ok we don't need curly braces so we installed Axios here and I will write one function here export default 
so why i am writing this export default because i want to use this function in this file if we don't write this export default then our function will not be exported out of this file so what we need to do is we will write a function here get crypto data to fetch the data and in the params we will write uh, we can write query by default it will be null just let me expand it here we will write what we will do. just make it limit no uh, okay just yeah, offset I will explain what okay just leave it here leave it leave it just okay by default this is null and in the next line what we will do is let just make it const because we don't need to change it so const url is equal we will create a new url object here and we will pass this base url here because we need to add some params too so i think uh, this is visible easily and what i will do is url dot search params uh, search params are uh, you must have seen this kind of stuff like uh, question mark uh, search i mean uh, just make it simple uh, okay so, uh, a is equal to 20 or i mean 10 so this is a param whatever you write after this question mark is a parameter you are sending to that server so url dot search param we can get everything after uh, this question mark and we can also append it so we can append it here like this search and comma and query and we need to write only if query is passed so we will does just move it here so i think this is easily visible now what we need to do is const response is equal to i will also explain what this await is okay so axios dot get and we need to tell axios that we need to get from this url there are uh, other methods like post delete put but we only need to get data from this url okay so after the data is received what we will do is uh, uh, this is a beginner app so i will not add any you know error handling i will just return this response dot data here for the ease of building i don't want to make it complex okay so our api is function is ready what we need to do is create okay just let me show you yeah so this is our app and what i need to do is every data will be shown like a card i will also explain how you can do this so we will just create a file named i mean card.js yeah so now here we will write all our uh, functions for this card so i will just create a div here sorry 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 i need to rename this this will be card dot svelte yeah <laughs> i was writing it like react yes so no problem what we need to do is here it the uh, we can uh, here we will have to place a name and going on man yeah and here we need to write the price here so let's see what happens 
we will just import card here uh, it's auto imported okay cool and let's give it some styling because this is not looking so good i am also a front-end engineer at high radius uh, i mean i am interning so uh, let's try to make it you know uh, just, uh, just make it some cool give it some cool features so what i will do is just give it a class name card okay so dot card what we need to do is we will give it some width let's give it some 40 vw i mean view put width and height uh, let's give it 40 vh okay and what i am going to use flexbox here so we will place this thing and this thing uh, parallelly i mean yeah parallelly so just make it display flex so you can see this two are like neighbor to each other what i will do is justify content space between and it will give some space here you can see just make it 50 so it might yeah it's now looking good and uh, what i will do is give it some background color uh all this okay cool now let's give it coral i like coral uh, okay so <laughs> this is too you know i don't know what color should i give oh man picking color is very you know tedious job let's give it some border radius 20 pixels and give it some padding uh, this will be 0 1% 0 and 1% okay so this padding is applied to all four directions here I think this is good and uh, what we can do is we can just add some hover effort to make it cool and uh, background color will be converted to you know uh, i don't know if this is good okay and i will just add some transition here 0 0.3 seconds okay let's make it 0 0.2 seconds okay this is good and what you can you can see this is static we can't change the names and price of this card so what we can do is we can pass some variables here like we can pass data is equal to name uh, just make it btc and price i know what what wrong i am doing let's make it good okay okay so you can see name and price i have exported this data to this card and uh, what i need to do is just write a script tag here and export let data and we will just write data dot name yeah you can see we got this name here and we will write data dot price and you can see we got our price here too and you can see how easily we can uh, you know send our data to the card and this is called props and this is a very good thing okay let's now focus on other things okay so what yeah what i need to do is i want to yeah just make it let 
crypto data just let just make an array and uh, we need to store all the data in this array so the function is on by ion mount okay this is the function and we need to write async here and uh, what this bound function does is whenever our this component is created app component i mean the whole app is, is created this function is executed and uh, this function takes another function as an argument so we will we are passing this argument i mean this function and we can just write const response is equal to we will await for the response and uh, i think this was the get i think we need to import that thing here first import get to data from yeah we are good get crypto data okay and uh, crypto data dot i mean is equal to rest dot data because uh, let's just try to console this i mean log this what this will print let's open this okay you are invalid okay 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 got it what's there we have passed invalid url here okay so you can see we got our data here and this data is too long and this is time the, the there are two variables like data and prop and we are just storing the data value in our crypto data and what i will do is just add another you know uh, i will add limit and just make it 7 because i don't think it, any more data will be able to uh, you know fit inside our screen you can also in, uh, increase or you know add some pagination here but i am going to make it simple for everyone okay so let's do this what no. okay so this is our data and what i will do is we need to create this card uh, the length of uh, i mean uh, we need to create uh, this card uh, you know like seven times i mean the size of this array times uh, so there is this cool thing in Swelt, uh, you just need to add hash here, and uh, you know this each keyword you just need to enter, and you can loop through that array here. So each crypto, I'll just copy it here, crypto data as crypto. and we need to pass this here and we will just remove this crypto i mean crypto yeah you can see this is how this is created but you know this is not looking good i think why this is showing undefined we will have to check our logs first okay so each element have price ust okay we need to put price ust here not just price and this is not looking good let's format this we will just multiply it by 1000 and we will just round it off and so now if it's divided by 
thousand then we can then we will get the exact number and then we will just get its fixed value yeah we got it right and what i will do is we'll just give it some you know margin top here 2% okay i think we are good now see how cool is this i don't know if you find it cool or not but i am i see this thing cool and we need to create another function async search i mean function search crypto and we will just copy this here and just pass search here okay okay so we got let search is equal to 0 uh, okay no just leave it like this and you can see we have got this variable here what we can do is we can bind this on okay leave it bind bind value search and we will try to see what are our text so you can see this is you know just updating the value here at btc and search it here and it will give me all btc related bitcoin so that's it uh, i would request you to try this on your own and if you have any problem comment down all your problems i will try to solve all of them let's check what let's try to check what's the price of eth i mean ethereum we can also write something like this we can just append dollar here okay this thing now looks good and yeah do give it a try and tell me what you have created thanks